Did you know that you can clone Pokemon and items in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? I'm gonna show you how. It's really easy. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I bring you guys a brand new video today, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to clone Pokemon and items in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. This is a very easy tutorial for you guys, so be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you enjoy this, you only need version 1.1, which is the most recent patch, and you do not need to go online to do this. However, I do urge caution, do this at your own risk. I haven't seen any issues, but you could always end up messing things up and deleting stuff, but I think you're relatively safe, but again, just move at your own risk, and let's break it down. Let's show you guys how to clone items in Pokemon and BDSP. Man, I'll tell you what, this is a throwback to the old days of Pokemon Emerald, if you remember that. All right, so we're gonna go step by step here. I'm gonna do my best to explain everything you need to do, but we are here in the daycare at Salacion Town. So you wanna go to the daycare, in Salacion Town. If you don't know where that is, it's pretty easy to find. It's over here where my big head is on the map. You go to Salacion Town, you're gonna go to the daycare, and if you're worried, you can save before you do any of this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your Pokemon box here, right? You're gonna take a look at the Pokemon you have, and you're gonna set two Pokemon up in two different boxes. So I'm gonna start by setting up this Zubat here in this bottom right-hand corner. Just use the bottom right-hand corner to make things easy, and you can see I already cloned my Mew. And then I'm gonna throw a Mew over here in this bottom right-hand corner, and that's gonna be our first step. The next thing you want to do is you want to put one of these particular Pokemon in your battle box. To access your battle box, you're going to press the X button twice, and that's going to take you to your battle box. You're going to simply take a Pokemon, you're going to register it, and you're going to put it into your battle box. Perfect. That's all you got to do. You're going to notice that one of your Pokemon in the corner is in a battle box. The other Pokemon is not in a battle box. Good to go. From there, you're going to back out of all these screens, and you're going to speak to the Pokemon nursery lady. She's going to ask if you'd like to take care of a Pokemon, and you're going to go in here, and you're going to see your two different boxes. You're going to select the Pokemon that's not in a battle box, and click select on them. And then from there, you go to the option that says box list right here. Then you can now press the Y button to select your box, which is this box here, and I'm going to shift it with this box. So I just swapped these two boxes. What that allows me to do is, you cannot select a Pokemon to go into the daycare if they're in your battle box, but by switching these two, it glitches it out, and you can notice now that it puts the check mark on the Zubat. Now we're gonna back out. It's gonna say, are you done? You're gonna say yes. You're gonna leave the Pokemon with the lady, and that's good to go from there. From there, you're gonna go back into your boxes, and you're gonna head over to your battle team section again. Now, if you notice in the bottom right-hand corner there, there's a missing no glitch, essentially. Level 99 with some characters, and that shows that you've done the glitch correctly. From this point forward, you need to throw a Pokemon out, essentially. So this next Pokemon is a Pokemon you want to get rid of, you don't care about. It's going to be gone after this. So I'm going to take my Silcoon here, and I'm going to register it to my battle box. And that's going to be the end of Silcoon. He's gone. See you later. Now you're going to take the Pokemon you wish to clone, which in this case is going to be Jirachi for me. I'm going to register it to my battle box. Now, mind you, this is the part at which you clone. So any Pokemon that you clone here will also clone its held item. I'm going to register the Jirachi to my battle box. And then it's very important that you check the summary of the Jirachi. You check the summary, you go back to the previous screen, and now I have two Jirachis. I simply move the Jirachis off, and look at that. I now have two Jirachis. And I can have two Master Balls, two Ability Capsules, two Bottle Caps, whatever I want to do. And you can simply go through and repeat the process from step one to clone your Pokemon, clone your items, and essentially have an infinite Pokemon and cloning glitch in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Again, I think it's important to recognize and remember that you're doing this at your own risk. I personally haven't seen any issues with it, but just something to be mindful of. So again, proceed at your own caution, but have some fun. If you found this video was helpful, be sure to like the video down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. That's gonna be for me, guys. My name is Dan, I also go by A-Drive, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.